Gemini Code Assist is pretty amazing. It gives you a bunch of tools for code generation, code understanding, and even more built directly into your IDE. But what if you could also teach it about how you and your team like to develop and build your code? For those of you who are not familiar with Gemini Code Assist, let's show you a quick example. Here we have a little Go application we're going to build. We're going to use a very popular Go framework called Jin, and we're going to ask Gemini Code Assist to generate a Jin application with a ping endpoint. It's going to be a little HTTP application that we're eventually going to integrate in our wider Teams operations. So let's have a look. This actually looks pretty nice. Um, I'm going to copy and paste this into here. Awesome. Gemini Code Assist was able to generate for us a standard Jin application with that ping endpoint that we wanted. Now, Gemini Code Assist can do so much more, but what I want to focus on is the code and conventions we have as a team and how Gemini Code Assist can help us there. So if we have a look at an existing repository that we already have with one of our existing HTTP endpoints, we can actually see some of those conventions. So here we have a private GitHub repository that has a Jin application in it as well that is some of these conventions. So if we have a look here, we can actually see that there are three specific HTTP endpoints with a discovery, a liveness, and a readiness check that are standard for how our team likes to build distributed systems. So if we popped back over here to our application and say, let's add our discovery endpoint. Um, and if I tell Gemini Code Assist to generate at this point, it's going to give me something that's not bad. But it's also not aligned with what we saw earlier, which is how our team likes to build and run its services. But like I said before, what if we could take the previous code we looked at plug it into Gemini Code Assist and make things even better. How would that work? So currently, this is how we work today. Cloud workstations, VS Code, JetBrains IDEs, they connect to Gemini Code Assist, and it can generate code and do a whole bunch more stuff. But what if we took our private code repository, we connected it to a Google Cloud project using a little tool called Developer Connect. That could be a GitHub repository, a GitLab repository, or something else that Developer Connect can support. And then we connect that to Gemini Code Assist code customization. Gemini Code Assist code customization will do a regular index of the code, parse it, understand it, such that when Gemini Code Assist service runs, it is able to query that index and give contextual answers that are specific to you and your team. Now, just to be clear as well, we're using Go right now, but code customization is optimized for a variety of languages with more to come. So let's also look at that in action. So what I'm going to do is actually switch to a Google Cloud project that has that Git repository that we saw earlier already set up with code customization, and it has been ingested. So this means now that we're going to get code assist that is tied to our code base. So now, for example, if I generate that discovery endpoint and I call code generation at that point, look at that. I now get a response that aligns with how I build my code and how my team builds my code, and I could edit further from here. Now, that being said, we saw previously there were three HTTP handlers that we wanted to use. So let's just request them all. And it's able to give me the entire set in one go. So not only does this give me better answers, but it also enables me to develop faster based on conventions and existing knowledge that sits within my code without me having to read it all and remember it all, which is really amazing. So to recap what we saw in action here, this means that with Gemini Code Assist customization, you can bring your complete code library into the Code Assist environment, which means it can learn all of it rather than just what's accessible locally. This can include multiple private source repositories. It means your code assistants can keep up to date with code changes from across your entire team, as well as updates to new base models without you having to worry about retraining. You also get a fully managed and optimized indexing infrastructure. And finally, security. You have full control over which repositories you have that are indexed and can use an AI excludes file to remove pieces that you do not want to be indexed. And most importantly, your code stays private. Your code is never used to train Gemini. All in all, a pretty great package that helps you speed up your development for all your developers and coders. If you want to learn more about Gemini Code Assist and code customization, check out the link below. I can't wait to see what you're going to build in the future with Gemini Code Assist.